Hello and welcome back to Super Data World. Today we're going to be covering pipes in Python, uh, which is a very useful thing to use, uh, especially when you're reusing code uh, for data science over and over again. So to give you an idea of what we're going to do today, I've got a data set here that has a lot of nulls, and we're going to use the pipes in order to deal with these nulls. So having a look at my data set, I've got uh, 614 entries. And then I have a lot of null columns here. Um, and I can choose to deal with these null columns in different ways. So what I want to do is end up with no null columns. I'll have to drop some columns. I'll have to um, take an average value for some columns. And then there's other problems with the data set, which we will we'll fix with the pipe. So quickly looking at the head of my data set, I can see that loan amount here has a NAN. That looks like something I could use an average on. Um, I have dependence here that should be a numeric column, but is a object, which means that there's kind of strings and stuff in there as well. So I got, need to figure this out. I need to turn this tree plus into a, a full number if I want to use it for, for data science later on, if I want to use it for building a model or something like that. And then for self-employed, I have a NAN column here. And because self-employed is not really something you can average out and encode, I'd probably want to drop that column. Um, and as well as that, I have a few nulls and dependents, which I may want to drop as well. So let's have a look um, at the dependents value counts. And I can see that I have 51, 3 plus. Now, 3 plus probably isn't, probably isn't great, so I'm just going to change that. I'm going to change that to 4 um, and try and make this column a not an object make it a, a integer column here so first of all i'm going to have a look at what my column names are so normally what i do is i do this i just have all my column names out here so when i want to do something with columns i can just drop them into a list or drop them into a function it just makes everything a lot easier to have them out here rather than trying to type them in yourself and then failing <laughs> that i don't know how you deal with your data science notebooks but sometimes they get the spelling wrong or something like that and it can mess up code so it's better just having all these out on your notebook to be able to copy and paste in so as i said before i need to clean up some stuff so i'm going to have three flavors of function of, of functions here the first function is i want to drop some rows that have columns that i don't want to encode that kind of um if we go up here, we've got columns like married, um, which has a few nulls in it. Like, I don't want to encode that. Um, and then gender, male or female, you could encode it, but, you know, for a couple of 13, what's the point? Let's just drop them. And, and there's a couple of other columns like that in the data set as well. Um, so that's what I will do with my first, right? I'm going to drop, I'm going to define a drop nulls. I'm taking in the whole data frame and I'm taking in calls. And it causes a list of columns that I'm going to drop rows with nulls in. And just I'm going to go df.drop an A subset equals calls. So what this will do is it'll drop NAs from any of the any of the columns I've, I've put into this list. And then in place versus true. And the important thing about a pipe is that a pipe will do a function and then serve the output for the next function. Do that function and serve the output for the next function. So you have to return the data frame on each line of the chain just to make sure that whatever gets done in the first um, function leads on to the second function. And what's quite important here in our third function is that we're going to be dropping some we're going to be dropping some rows which we're going to be then using in the third function here. And if you have something that you might want to clean first before you take another action. You know, very important to do your chain in the right order. So the first link of the chain is going to be this drop nulls. The second link of the chain is going to be um, filling null columns with average values. So again, we've got a, a def uh, fill vals and a df call. So what I'm taking the data frame and I'm taking a specific number of calls. I'm doing a for loop here. I'm taking an average of each column. So we're doing four i in calls. It'll go through the list take the column, take an average of that, and then fill the NA with the average, and then return that data frame for the third link of the chain, which is replace strings uh, with numbers and convert type. So essentially what I'm doing here is that I'm replacing 
this string and this is just for dependence but you could do like if and else statements in here and do it for numerous different things i'm just doing a very simple example i have my three plus here that's a string obviously i want to change that into four just for the for this example so what i'm doing is uh, replace strings for i and calls um again um dfi dot replace the three plus to four in place equals true and this in place equals true is important otherwise you would have to do df equals df dot drop na but if you do in place versus true it happens in place and then after i've replaced the strings with the number i'm going to change this um column into a numeric column and then return the data frame again so I have my calls, which are my null, null calls, which I'm gonna be using in the first, which is drop nulls. I have my average calls, which is just one column that I'm gonna be using in average. And then I have my replacement calls, which is just dependents. And what I'm gonna do in a pipe here, I'm gonna say my data frame equals to df.pipe drop nulls, which is my drop nulls function. And I'm, I'm sending my list null calls in there. So it's going to drop nulls on all these columns here. And then I'm doing a dot pipe. So when this returns here, when the, the return data frame, it goes into a pipe. It then goes to uh, average column. So that's my fill vals um, function takes place next. And my average columns, which is just this loan amount, goes in. And then the pipe goes to replace strings and then my replace columns which is just the dependence here so i've created these three functions you can create a number of generic functions and then use them um in different notebooks you could use them you can even make a class of, of these functions bring them in and they can use them in, in numerous different notebooks so you could really have spend some time building a lot of different functions generic functions that can be used on any data set and then just apply your pipe within the data set so i'm just going to run this uh i'm going to run these functions just to bring them in and then we have um then we have this list and pipe here so i've created my lists and then i'm going to run my pipe here so that's all run and now you can see my output df.info so what this has done is it's dropped i think we had we had uh, 614 and now we're at uh, 499 so it's obviously dropped all the nulls we've got no nulls in anything anymore you can see the dependents have been the dependents have been uh, changed into it and in 64 and then last thing i'm going to do is run this df.head again and you can see on row zero i had a na in my loan amount that's now been encoded with an average on row seven i i had a three plus string which has been changed into a four and at row 11 i had a nan and self-employed and now that row has been dropped so you can see not very difficult but very very powerful that you can kind of build your own universe of functions in, in order to use within your data science uh, workflows and you can just easily put them into a pipe here um, and it'll do all your functions one after the other. So I hope you found this video useful. Uh, as usual, this notebook's available on the GitHub. The data will come from the raw data from GitHub, so don't worry about having to find the CSV for the data set. You can just open this Colab workbook from GitHub. The link's down below and just take it from there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions on pipes, uh, please ask down below. And I'll see you next time for another Python tutorial.